There we go, guys. This is what we're here for. Dude, you've got to be kidding me right now. Oh, man. That is insane. How freaking cool is that? All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are down in the beautiful Florida Keys. I've been here for a couple days, but we had a cold front here just like the rest of the country. And we had a little bit of rain too, so not ideal conditions to fish down here in South Florida. So we did a lot of the touristy stuff, did some family stuff. But we are out on the longest fishing bridge, trying to see if we can catch some fish today. Now I got some live shrimp and got three different rods and we're just gonna do a couple setups see what we can figure out here never been here never fished down here uh talked to my buddy victor over at land shark outdoors he gave me a few pointers uh, there's a few species that i would like to catch today a yellow jack being one of them never caught one so we're gonna see if we can get on them i know the bite was good before the cold front i don't know how it's gonna be after the cold front so we're gonna hang out here throughout the day and uh, see what all we can get on if this is your first time to the channel i do a lot of saltwater fishing mainly on the alabama gulf coast but i do travel into florida a lot as well also just about a tackle store with beach bum and angler up with brant so a lot of cool stuff coming out about the tackle store so that sounds interesting to you make sure you subscribe to the channel but we're going to get set up i'm going to show you all what we're rigging up today and how we're going to be fishing and uh see if we can get on some fish all right guys first thing we're going to do here at the bridge so we're gonna throw out a little bit of chum. I had some shrimp that ended up dying. The, the battery went out on the pump, and so now I got some dead shrimp, but it is fresh, I got them on ice. We're just gonna to toss down some of this shrimp, see if maybe we can chum some stuff up. All right. We gotta finish rigging up here. Looks like the bait store gave me a few dead shrimp. Make sure we get those out of here. If you are keeping live shrimp and you have any dead ones, definitely get them out. Those dead shrimp are gonna kill your other shrimp a lot faster. So get all the dead ones out of there. All right, now that that's done, we got a live shrimp here. I'm gonna hook them in the tail. Sometimes I do tail, sometimes I do up in the head at the horn. And we are using a Carolina rig today. There's a lot of current out here. I got two ounce weights. That is all I brought with me. So hopefully it's enough. I have no idea how deep this water is. Like not a single clue. I think it's fairly shallow here actually. I'm gonna leave that down. I'm gonna rig up another rod. We're gonna set two rods out here. All right, got the second set up here ready. Hook another live shrimp up. Everybody else on this bridge is fishing off the east side, which is why I put the first one on the east. I don't know if they know something I don't know or if they are all just as clueless as I am, but I'm gonna toss one out on the west side. We're gonna go up under this bridge. I assume they're all fishing that side just because the current's going that direction and your line's not going to end up under the bridge. But we're going to see if my two ounce will hold me in place and not go up under the bridge. We'll see how that works, but so I got one rod set up on the east side, one set up on the west side, both with the same thing, Carolina rig, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Let's see if we can get hooked up on the fish. There we go. There we go. Got something decent on the shrimp here. <clears throat> I don't have a net. I was anticipating being able to flip anything I caught. Oh, what is that? Don't hit the bridge. All right. I have honestly no idea what this is. All right. Check it out. This is a hogfish. First time I've ever caught one. When I first saw it coming out of the water and it was orange like this, I thought it was just gonna be like a little red snapper. Got it up at first glance, I wasn't sure. And then I looked it up and sure enough, this is a hogfish. Very cool, they are out of season right now and they gotta be 16 inches, which this one is not. But very cool to catch the first species for me. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go, get another shrimp out 
see if we can find something else. All right, well, first actual fish of the trip, not counting that little bait fish. I actually ate hogfish for the first time yesterday at a restaurant down here. And now I caught my first hogfish. Pretty cool. I'm gonna drop another shrimp down here. See what we can find this time. That's what's cool about the Keys, man. This is my first time being here, first time fishing here. But there's so many opportunities to catch so many different species of fish. Let's see if we can check something else off the list today. So a minute ago, a couple guys were leaving. Said it had been slow. Said they caught a couple hogfish, one permit, and one yellow jack. I asked them what time they got here. Right now it's 11.45. They said they got here at five o'clock yesterday afternoon. They spent the night out here. So it sounds like it's been slow, so it's not just me at least. Hopefully it'll pick up for us. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening here? What's happening here? Oh man. I think I got a fish on. I feel him moving. Yeah, there's a fish on there. He's just got me in some structure. I'm gonna give him some slack. See if he'll swim out. Interesting. Could it be a grouper? Wouldn't that be sweet? Hey, nothing there. Maybe my weight got stuck on a rock somehow. Or maybe he had me, because I, I did fill a fish. Maybe he had me and then spit it? Maybe? I don't know, man, I don't know. That was interesting. Got me excited there. That was a big little thumpity thump. All right, I have no idea if it's showing up in the camera or not, but you can kind of see the tide line right in here and all that nice clean blue water behind it the tide is coming up right now hopefully that's going to bring in some clean water and uh, maybe get things going and hopefully make it to where i can actually see in the water i wanted to kind of be able to see down thought we'd be able to see some fish <clears throat> the bite has been a little slow haven't caught anything in a minute but we're gonna hang out a little while longer and uh try to put some fish on deck drop another shrimp down see what happens One hogfish, yeah, we got a bunch of grunts. There we go. Oh, there's something different. All right. That, I'm almost certain, is a little baby grouper. That is pretty cool. I do not know what kind. If, if anybody knows, comment down below, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back quickly. See buddy. We're getting closer and closer to high tide. This water's getting cleaner, which is a good sign. Oh, guys, there's like some barracuda or something. I don't really have anything good for these, but there's some giant fish. This is a terrible idea, and I'm going to get broken off instantly. But I've got to see... If I can get one of these big fish to eat. If they're barracudas, which I kind of think they are, they're gonna cut right through my leader. Oh, oh, oh. They kind of looked interested for a second. Actually, oh, I got my cut bait. I got my cut bait. All right, we're gonna see if I can sling this cut bait at them and get them to eat. Where'd y'all go? There they are. There they are. All right, I'm gonna cast it out in front and reel it in front of them really quickly. And hopefully they'll eat it. Dang, that would have been so sick. Well that, well, that was really cool to see. A school of probably like four or five barracuda just came cruising by. Unfortunately, I didn't really have anything ready. When I was at the tackle store this morning, I almost bought a cuda tube, but it was like really short and not really what I wanted, so I didn't buy it. I wish I was able to bring out more setups with me, because out here, you never really know what's gonna cruise by. Like, it would have been nice to have a rod ready for something like that instead of trying to like scrounge around, figure out what to do, but really cool. Starting to see more life here. I've been here, I don't even know what time I got here this morning. Pretty early, maybe like nine o'clock. It's a little after three right now. So I've been out here pretty much all day. 
The only reason I'm sticking around is because that high tide's coming in, clean water from the Atlantic is pushing in here close, and I'm hoping that's gonna bring in some fish, help turn the bite on. Uh, we're gonna hang out here a few more hours. I might just end up staying until dark, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but hopefully we can get on some more fish. We're getting hit, we're getting smoked, we're getting smoked. There we go, guys. This is what we're here for. I threw out one of those grunts for some cut bait. Cause I don't know if this is the right one. <laughs> I was hoping maybe a grouper or something. I don't think this is a grouper. It's definitely not. Ah. All right. Well, that was fun for a second. Get the blood pumping. I got the weight and the bait back. Let's check out the leader here. All right, the leader's not frayed at all. The body honestly doesn't look that bad either. I don't know. My guess was shark. If there's something y'all think, comment down below, let me know. I did, when, he, when he came loose, I definitely thought he cut me off. I just got 50 pound mono leader on here. Comment down below your guesses. Was it a shark or was it something else? We'll never know. There we go. There's something a little more decent. What we got? Ah, first one of these of the day. Nice mangrove snapper. That's a legal size fish right there too. He is definitely over 10 inches, which is what, what they gotta be here in Florida. Alabama's 12 and he'd probably beat that too. I bet he's about 14 inches or so. Check it out. Trying to bite my hand, nice mangrove snapper. I wasn't planning on keeping fish, but I'm actually walking out now. And, uh, cause I don't have a cooler, but I can throw him in there with the shrimp and uh, it should be fun. So I'm gonna put this guy up. We're gonna fry him up for dinner tonight. Have a little snack. Let's see if we can catch us another one. All right, let's drop another shrimp by this piling. See if that was a fluke or if we got us a little school of mangers hanging out over here. Wouldn't mind catching a handful of these. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. That's another good one. Get up here. Get up here. Ugh. Sweet. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to measure fish. I'm pretty sure this one's over 10, but I'm not positive. That one I know for a fact was, this one I think is, but because I'm not positive, I'm gonna let him go. I don't wanna end up getting stopped and getting in trouble. I wasn't planning on keeping fish, so I wasn't really worried about it. But it's hard to turn down some mangrove snapper when I'm on my way out. See if we can catch us another no doubt keeper. There he is. Oh, that feels like a real good one. That might be the biggest one. Oh, that's not, what is that? What is that? Is that a yellowtail snapper? That is pretty cool. All right, so it's not a yellowtail. This is called a schoolmaster snapper, which I don't think I've ever heard of. They gotta be 10 inches. He's definitely not. Another fish that I've never caught before. Marking them off the list today. See ya, buddy. Well, this is a productive little piling I just stopped at. I have to use up all my shrimp right here. There he is. Oh, another good fish. A real good fish. Oh, come on. Don't get me in the piling. Oh, that's a nice mangrove. That is a nice mangrove. Tighten down that drag, Brad. Tighten down that drag, Brad. Whoo! Heck yeah. That again is definitely a keeper. No doubt about it. That's bigger than the first one. He's probably 15, 16 inches. My goodness. All right, check out the size of that mangrove. Wow! Easy! <laughs> 
check out the size of that mangrove snapper right there bigger than the first one he's probably every bit of 15 16 inches that is a good one for inshore like this we're going to keep this guy as well got a few more shrimps so we're just going to go ahead and use them all up see if we can get on some more fish all right another shrimp i think i've caught more fish in the last like 10 minutes than i did in the previous like five hours this one piling is loaded with snapper like as soon as it hits bottom i'm getting nibbles all right i just scoot it down to the next piling over see if we can get some bites here there we go there we go got him got him oh yeah oh yeah mang baby mang baby loaded up with some mangrove snapper right in here this is another definitely 10 incher that'll give me three snapper which will be enough for me the wife and the kids if they decide they want to eat some fish we got a few more shrimp might as well use them up and hooking them in the tail go to this next piling over drop it drop it low got him got him oh yeah oh yeah baby oh uh oh uh oh come on get up here oh that was a nice mangrove and it pulled the hook right at the top of the water i don't know if you could see it in the camera but i mean he was right at the surface i'm gonna catch one more of these dang things right here this is it baby this is the one oh man oh oh that's a real fish stay pin baby stay pin baby that is a real fish right there y'all oh this might be the biggest one of the day minus whatever big fish we lost earlier don't go under i gotta keep my braid off this concrete oh and I don't have a net, so whatever it is, is gonna have to be flipped. Oh, it is a hoss mangrove. I mean, a stud mangrove. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my God, dude. You've got to be kidding me right now. Oh man. That is insane. How freaking cool is that? Check out that mangrove snapper. What an absolute beautiful fish. I think that's going to end it for us right here. I said I wasn't going to keep any more, but I got to keep this guy. That was an awesome fight and a nice big inshore mangrove snapper hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the other keys videos coming up here soon appreciate it guys i'll catch y'all in the next one